In this problem, we're going to prove that if we have z1 equals x1 plus y1, z2 equals x2 plus y2, all the way to zn equals xn plus yn, that the mean of the z's is equal to the mean of the x's plus the mean of the y's. Proof. So first, let's just recall um, what this notation means. So first note that z bar is the arithmetic mean of the z's, or simply the average, but uh, it's better to say mean or arithmetic mean since there are many averages. And it's a fraction, and it's basically the sum of the z's. And let's be a little bit professional here. Let's actually indicate that we're going from 1 to n. Now, you can, you can omit that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and include it, though, just for extra clarity. So you add up all the z's, and you divide by n. Same thing with, with x bar. Same thing, except you add the x's. So we have the sum of the x's going from 1 to n. And you divide by the total number of x's, and there's n of them. And likewise, um, the sum of the y's, it's the same thing, right? You basically add up uh, all of your y's, so y sub i, and i runs from 1 to n, and then we have an n here. Okay, this, this is just a, an extra step just to show you, you know, what these mean, so what all these symbols mean. So we have to show that uh, this is equal to this. So let's do it. So then... Let's go ahead and write down um, z bar, which we know what it is already. So z bar is the arithmetic mean of the z's. So here's our fraction, and here are the z's. So we have z sub i. i goes from 1 to n, and then we're dividing by n. So now let's use the definition of the z's. So z1 is x1 plus y1, z2 is x2 plus y2 etc. So in general, z sub i, uh, by definition, is xi plus yi, and we're going from 1 to n. And you know, you can omit this when it's understood. I, pr I probably could have omitted it. It would have made it easier to write it all down, but um, like, you know, the, the 1 to n part. If it's understood, it's really not that, not that big of a deal. Um, so now we can break this up into two sums. So this is equal to, this is going to be the sum of the x's, and again from 1 to n, plus the sum of the y's, and again from 1 to n, it's all being divided by n, right, just breaking it up into two sums. And now we can break it up into two terms, we can write this as the sum of the x's from 1 to n plus the sum of the y's as i runs from 1 to n over n. And this first one, it's just x bar, right? Remember we talked about how um, that's just x bar. So we get x bar. And then the second one is y bar. So really simple problem, just a an exercise uh, in, in notation, right? So basically, um, you just write down this, write down the definition of z-bar. It's the arithmetic mean. It's the sum of the z's divided by the total number of data points. And then use the definition of z sub i as given in the problem. It's the sum of the x's with the sum of the y. It's just xi plus yi. Use properties of sums to break it up, and then just use uh, basic uh, property of you know, adding fractions. Uh, you're just going backwards, right? You're splitting the fraction into two fractions. It's this over this plus this over this, and then just use the definition of x bar and y bar, and we've got it. We've, we've finished the proof. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.